So what if robots were designed from an um, emotional point of view? So we have four robots in this and they will react to a human being in the room in different emotional ways. So um, the first one will, uh, it, it can't handle any electromagnetic activity. So like a electrical appliance, like a Hoover or a motor, it goes crazy and it needs to get away from it. At the same time, it, um, it likes a certain amount. So it will move close to you just to get your, your uh, any activity, your brain activity, like which is really low compared to that of, of an appliance. The next one here is um, what it does. It's it's kind of like a baby. It's it's unhappy being on its own. So when you walk into the room, it'll start making a noise, and uh, you pick it up and look in. It scans your iris, and to make it's to make sure that it's you. And when it's you, it's happy and it just wants to be put down again. It's just content with that. Uh, the next robot is just really nervous about everything and if you approach it you need to do it really slowly and even then it just goes crazy and starts spinning around it just can't handle any change in the environment and then the last one is the most intelligent one it kind of is above the first three and um, it knows it's intelligent but it can't move it knows that there's other things around it wants to see them but it, it can't because it has no arms and legs so it begs the woman or anyone in the room to move it around so we can see so it's just all if you incorporated all of them into one you kind of have a full robot personality and that's what's encompassed in the whole team